YouTube. I'm back again for more of our Gen Con Bonanza Explosion Blog coverage. We're live at Gen Con 2018. Thanks in part to all of our amazing Kickstarter backers, these spectacular companies who donated games for us to give away as part of our Kickstarter, and of course our sponsors, TMG, who sponsors everything we do, and Minion Games. Click on those links, show them some love. Right now, we're about to talk with Georgina from Holy Grail Games about the upcoming Kickstarter, Titan. So hey Georgina, what is Hi. Titan? So Titan is a network building game. Uh, basically, Saturn has been colonized, and you as players are going to be corporations setting out to mine resources from Titan. So you are going to be building bases uh, on this massive 3D board on the table, and you are going to be linking them together with pipe networks. Uh, and it's kind of like a snowball effect. So every time you link a new building into your network, you gain new resources, and the more buildings of the same color that you have in your network, the more resources you can gain in one go. Okay. Uh, so is this actually what's going to be coming with the base game, like this huge? Yes. Okay. This is going to be this huge three team board. Um, obviously, this is a prototype, so it hasn't been illustrated yet, but uh, the, the format is the same. However, it does all fit in that box. Uh, what's the player count on it? Uh, four players. Four players? Yeah, two, two to four players. So could you show us a little bit more about how like it works with all the, the pieces and whatnot? Yeah, absolutely. So, each player starts out with a base like this, which is their main base, and you get to choose where you place it on the board. So all players will place their uh, starting base at the beginning of the game. You get a little meeple to go on that as well. And then from then on, players will all be choosing these buildings. So each building corresponds to a resource type. So blue is water, yellow is silicium, which allows you to buy buildings. Green is purification, which allows you to get rid of pollution. So the idea of the game is you have to collect as many resources as possible without your resources becoming polluted. Black is hydrocarbons, which allow you to send drones through your system and bring stuff back for you. You have titanium, which allows you to buy additional moves for your drones and then break other people's pipes. You can also break your own pipes. And then purple is a wild card. So basically purple is wild and the final player gets to choose what it is that purple does. So, at the start of each round, the players are going to be placing buildings wherever they like on the board. It's entirely up to you. And then after that, you're going to be placing these tubes to link buildings into your network. So you can build round the board and you can also build down through the levels to get to the center. Because the white resources on the center of the board are the most valuable. So you need to try and get as many of those as you can. So that's the basic premise of the game. Uh, the players will also have these little drone bots which they can send through their networks. Uh, drones can um, pick up resources from buildings and bring them back to you. And they can also uh, dock in a building to increase its power. And they can reduce the cost of a building and so on and so forth. So once a building's placed, it isn't yours yet. But if you buy it, so you have to purchase it using yellow cubes. Once you buy a building, you get to choose a module to put onto it. So it can be any of these colors as well. It can be the same color or a different color. So you can mix and match or not. The module then goes into the center of the building along with your little meeple. And what that does is, now, whenever you or another player activate that building, you get the power of the base building plus the center of the building too. So, yeah, it makes them even more powerful and basically makes it so that um, you can absorb more resources through those buildings. So that's the basic mechanic of the game, really. I mean, there's a lot of different things that you can do. Uh, but at the end of the round, you get an extraction phase. So any buildings that you own, or if you've managed to plumb all the way down to the center, that will start extracting resources and they will come straight into your base. So you play for six rounds. So for four players, that will take about two hours. And then at the end, uh, the player that has the most resources in their base, each, each resource is worth a certain number of victory points, the player that has the most points wins. All right, and this is kickstarting next year, correct? This is kickstarting June next year, yeah. All right, very cool. That is Titan from Holy Grail Games. If it looks like it might be a cup of tea, be sure to keep an eye out for that one. If you're enjoying this Gen Con coverage, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. And in the comments below, let me know. Uh, let's see. Uh, when was the last time you got into a fight? I guess not be a fist fight, it could be a verbal altercation. It was yesterday because one of the team tried to take my pizza and nobody oh, touches my pizza. That's that's <laughs> not cool. Me personally, oh man, was the last time I got into a fight. Uh, but a bit 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 a b
<laughs> Mine was probably with uh, a really sassy eight-year-old girl named Vasi, who just, Jesus Christ, she just is never happy with anything. She's so, so sassy. Let me know in the comments below, when's the last time you got into a fight with anybody? And thanks for, thanks for your time, YouTube.